this is mitt right here and i'm going to show you how i barbecue my turkey many of you have asked how do you do it you've seen all my pictures now i'm going to do a youtube video we're going to show you how to brine how to put the rub on how to grill it how to baste it and even how to carve it so happy holidays i do this every thanksgiving every easter every christmas and you are going to find it so easy and the one thing i want you to remember is you can't screw it up happy holidays what we have here is a brine turkey it's been sitting all night in a cooler in a brine you get your favorite brine off foodnetwork.com or cookingchannel.com doesn't really matter as long as there's salt sugar herbs spices in there and it's ready to go so from now we'll let it sit out for a couple hours to come to room temperature the next step will be the dressing okay we're back and we're having a cocktail while our turkey is coming to room temperature it's got to be hour two hours should be a fresh turkey room temperature completely dry take a paper towel make sure it's completely dry first thing we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we put plenty of salt inside this cavity a lot of people forget to do that because you need to have it and some pepper be liberal with it okay so we got that next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our rub i have one stick of melted butter and to that i'm going to add some lemon juice. It's going to be great flavor. Just throw that in the cavity when you're done. Mm, butter and lemon. Okay. And then we're going to add to that uh, some olive oil. How much? Some. Okay, and then we have our herbs. No, this is not the sampling I got when I was in Colorado last weekend. We have some sage. All right, we have rosemary. We have thyme. How much is as much as we want. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to mix it up. And this is the rub. It's not a dry rub, it's a wet rub. And you're going to take it over to your turkey and just open up the under the skin. What you want to do is you want to get all the way down to the breast. Get under there. This flavoring is going to be incredible. I know it looks funny. All right, go on top, rub it on there. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Make sure you get the wings underneath. Now, one of the keys to keep your wings from burning is to take the wing, and this is tricky, it's a hard one. You want to bend it up and underneath. Yep, it's a tough one. Oop. You heard that, and that tucks under there. One more here. Crack it a little bit, and I know that looks funny. Keeps everything. The key is for everything to cook evenly. Okay, there's plenty of butter, olive oil mixture. Pour under there, go all the way, all the way down. Side. Mix it around this whole thing down. Okay. Now, fill the cavity with some onion, some oranges. Citrus is always good. More onion. Okay, I have here some more sage and thyme. Just put that all inside the cavity. Fill it. Not the Food Network, but it works. You can keep rubbing it in there. Once you finish applying the rub and filling the cavity, what you want to do is you want to tie the turkey up. You want to tie the legs together. Once again, the key, this is key because it gives everything gives the turkey a nice shape and everything to cook easy. Tie it under here, under here. It's not a big deal, but it just keeps everything gives a nice shape to your turkey. He wants to eat a turkey that have a nice shape. Okay, so at that point, what we have is a roasting pan, aluminum disposable roasting pan with a roasting rack. Inside is the neck from the turkey. We have the celery, carrots, and we're gonna add some broth. My wife prefers the Kitchen Basics original chicken stock for cooking. 
And what the stock will do is some nice moisture while your turkey's cooking on the grill. And it'll create some nice base for your, for your gravy later. Because I love gravy. Okay, so that's probably good there. Okay, and then one last step. We have Mitt's Soul Rub. We're going to open this up. This is the batch I gave to my sister's boyfriend, Ryan. And we're just going to sprinkle just some on here. What's in here? A little bit of brown sugar, paprika, cayenne, chipotle pepper. And it's just going to give a nice little crunch to the skin for those of you that prefer to eat skin. Okay, but no, don't overdo it. Okay. Also, this was the little detector that came in with the bird. I'm going to put it back, and that will tell you when the bird's ready. At this point, I'm going to pick the turkey up, put it in the roasting rack. Look at that. It's giving me the finger. I'm going to tuck that back under so it cooks evenly. And now you're ready for the grill. Okay, so here we are ready to grill our turkey. This is approximately three hours from the time we took it out of the brine. It's dried, it's room temperature, it's been stuffed, it's been herbed, it's ready to go. There's a couple tools you're gonna need other than the grill. You're gonna need aluminum foil. This bird is gonna get color quickly. When it starts to get color, you wanna cover it up so it doesn't burn. You have a baster. Some people like to baste, some people don't. I like to baste because it allows me to be outside often drinking a beer while my family's inside doing whatever they do. Okay, so the key is I've done these turkeys on a Weber grill. I've done it on a green egg. I've done it on a Weber charcoal grill. I've done it with smoke. I've done it without smoke. The key is indirect heat. So you see I've got it hot, 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 500 degrees. I got the outer uh, burners on, the inner burners are off. Creates indirect heat. I started high at 500. And we're going to do eventually bring it down to the cooking temperature at room room heat. And here we go. Okay, right in there. Outer burners are on, your turkey's in, everything's ready to go. So at this point, you close the grill and you finish your beer. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes after we put the turkey in the grill. You'll see that the temperatures come down to the cooking temperature, 350, and that's where we want it to be. When you open it, you're going to see that the turkey has a lot of color on it, which is great. But this turkey is going to be cooking for about three hours, and if you let it continue to go uncovered, you're going to find that it's going to burn. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some foil, and we're just going to cover it, close the top, let it go. We'll come back in another 20, 30 minutes and we'll start the basting process. Okay, so we are about an hour since the bird has been put on the grill. See, it's got beautiful color. And now it's time to baste the bird. All you do is grab some of these beautiful juices from the bottom. And you're just going to make sure you... And the reason you don't baste too early, if you baste too early, then all those beautiful seasonings you put on top... I'm just gonna go rolling right off the side. So now um, the seasoning is adhered to the bird. And now we're just putting these beautiful juices right all over the top. Okay, kind of in the cavity. Make sure it's in the back. And it's always a good idea when you're basting to be drinking a beer. I don't have one right now, but. Okay, you're going to do the basting every 20 to 30 minutes until the bird is fully cooked. Once again, the foil goes back on. So we're about three and a half hours out. It could be anywhere from three to four hours. And your turkey with a thermometer should be 165 degrees to the thickest part of the bird. And when it's done, you have a beautiful, beautiful grilled turkey. Now, it's not ready to be eaten yet. We're going to take it inside, and we're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. It will continue to cook a little bit and cool down. If you slice it too early, it's just going to shred, and I'm going to show you how to properly slice a turkey in about 30 minutes.
So, what some people like to do is old school now, uh, where they slice across yeah, this way. What I prefer to do is actually cut the breast off of the turkey. And then what we'll do is we'll cut it this way. So everybody gets a little bit of skin and a little bit of meat in everybody's head. Oh, that's a breast. Still steaming. And then we'll cut it this way. I'll show you how to do it. One sec. A sharp knife is paradise. A perfectly cut breast of turkey. We're going to do the rest and then you're done.